Mr. Archer has very carefully picked out the clothes he's going to wear today. But it looks like Mrs. Archer doesn't agree with his tastes. I have an appointment with Judge Andrews this morning. You have to be careful how I look. Of course, dear. You know how impressed he is with people's appearance. You know, I actually think the wrong choice of tie might influence one of his decisions. I know. <laughs> well, there's nothing the matter with that. Guess I know how to impress the old boy, huh? <laughs> You've got a wonderful taste, Harry. Thank you, dear. Just one game. I so seldom beat you at anything. That's because we so seldom play anything. <laughs> Please. No. You're so agile, so strong, so muscular, and so athletic. Yeah. I'm the most agile, strongest, muscular, athletic weakling I ever met. I'm sure I was only lucky before. You'll win this time. <laughs> Which one do you want? Uh, what difference does it make? I'll take this one. Oh. oh well, I'll take that one. Hey, Corliss. Yes. Yeah, I'll take that side. Okay. Hello, kids. Hi, Daddy. Oh, that was a terrific shot, Dexter. Oh, you're wonderful, Dexter. Oh, simply fabulous, Dexter. Dexter. It's silly to go on. You're so superior. Well, it's just a question of an irresistible force meeting a movable object. <laughs> anyway, I'll go get the car. We'll go down to the park and we'll pitch some horseshoes. Okay? <laughs> Corliss. Sit down. I was watching you. I may be mistaken, but it seems to me that you threw that game to Dexter. Uh-huh. But don't you dare tell him. I don't understand. People don't usually play against each other without trying to win. Well, sometimes it's absolutely, imperatively, especially necessary. Why so especially? Well, a man must always win. Hmm? It's a myth. Women must keep living forever. Well, where did you glean that priceless gem of information? I thought everybody knew that. <laughs> I gotta go, Daddy. There's Dexter. Every man knows he's superior to his woman as long as she lets him think he is. I just saw Corliss deliberately let Dexter beat her at ping pong. I wonder why. I asked her. She said she was preserving the myth of male supremacy. How peculiar. Now, take it easy. None of those fancy tricks of yours. <laughs> Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to have a talk with her. Oh, I wouldn't, dear. It's just a notion. She'll get over it. Yes, I'm interested in where she got the notion. Jim. Mm. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> How much? Twenty-nine. Uh, you ought to watch the cards more carefully, dear. You gave me my gin card. I try, but you have so much better cards then. I'm not doing so badly. You owe me seventeen thousand two hundred and sixty-six dollars. <laughs> well, but you didn't have twenty-nine. But well, you could have. You could have laid these down. You only had one. Oh well, I must have counted the four nines. Oh. Oh <laughs> yes. Janet, you've never had any trouble with arithmetic. Four nines is 36. Well, everybody makes mistakes. You only had one. You could have gone down and beaten me. That's right, I could have. Stupid of me, wasn't it? Janet, something tells me Corliss got that advice from her mother. Really, dear, there's nothing to be upset about. Corliss beat Dexter at ping pong, and he was unhappy. So she was unhappy. Oh, I told her to let him win. Mm. 
meaning that uh, his male ego would blossom at the victory. A bit poetic, but true. And you've been blossoming my male ego by letting me win? Not all the time. Just sometimes. <laughs> and you have to admit you like to win. You don't have to bolster my ego. I can lose to a woman as gracefully as to anybody else. Anybody else is not your wife. No, that's not so. I admit there's some things you can do better than I do, but there are a lot of things that uh, I'm superior at. Well, I mean, uh, there are a lot of things I can do better than you can. Well, of course you can, dear. Uh, much better gardener than you are. You don't know anything about plumbing. And <laughs> when it comes to driving a car. Oh, now, just a minute. Of course, you won't admit it, your woman's superiority. But there, there are lots of other things, like... Uh, like uh, well, electrical work, dear? Yeah. Now, where would you be if I weren't around here to fix things? Plug it in. What do you mean, plug it in? It's, it's fine. I, I fixed it. Plug it in. I don't know what you're trying to prove. I fixed it. Please, plug it in. All right. There. See? <laughs> it's always worked when I fixed it before. <laughs> Hasn't it? Now, I suppose you're going to tell me that you send for an electrician every time I fix it. No. There are only two wires to connect, and I just happen to know where to connect them. <laughs> Maybe the trouble is that that toaster is DC and Mr. Archer is AC. Certainly, as an electrician, Mr. Archer is AC. AC, that stands for A clunk. You did it again. Gee, I didn't know you were so good at horseshoes. Oh, it's just one of my minor accomplishments. Fifteen to nothing. And I always thought I was pretty good. Well, you are, Corliss. For a woman. I mean, I enjoy playing with you and all, but I couldn't expect any competition. That's what I love about you, Dexter. You're so masculine. That's so true. <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't make the game more interesting. Oh, that's all right, Corliss. I love you anyway, even though you are a member of the inferior sex. Dexter could pitch woo the way Corliss can pitch horseshoes. He wouldn't have to make such a pitch to make his love song stay on pitch. He was so angry, he was absolutely drooling with an inner fury. I don't think your father feels so good either. He found out about the toaster. Well, we certainly proved they're not so superior. But if Dexter doesn't see me again, I'm going to feel awfully inferior without a man. Well, I wouldn't worry too much, Corliss. When we get home, just remember to let them carry the packages. That's one thing woman can be completely honest about. Men are stronger. Those men drive. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Archer. Hello, oh, Dexter. You know anything about toasters? No, but our house, my mother always fixes them. <laughs> Mr. Archer, I have a terrible problem. Oh, happy to be of assistance. What's your problem? Well, you know the way I feel about Corliss. I have a general idea, yes. I love her, Mr. Archer. I love her unselfishly. <laughs> Many's the time I've taken Corliss to the movies, even though I couldn't hold her hand. Why not? Well, on my allowance, she usually sits in the orchestra and I sit in the balcony. <laughs> and when I buy popcorn, I always let her eat the top part with the butter, and I eat the dry. Well, Dexter, you're noble. And after the show is over, even though it's past my bedtime, do I run home and go to bed? No, I walk her right to the door and kiss her goodnight. Dexter, you're a great sport. Well, it's all over now. There's nothing for us. A woman should respect a man for his accomplishments. And that's all right, except for one thing. What? I haven't got any accomplishments. No, no, Dexter. No, 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 Mr. Archer, it's true. I'm a miserable nothing. I used to think I was pretty good, too. And then I found out Carlos can beat me in almost everything. Ping pong, horseshoes, tennis. Dexter, I think you should be proud of her accomplishments. Her ping pong, her tennis, whatever it is, she does well. Women should be treated as an equal. What if she is better at a few little things? Remember, women are people. <laughs> Does she get this thing together? 
You know, Mr. Archer, I think you have the same problem I do. Only yours is more serious. You're stuck with Mrs. Archer. <laughs> stuck with <laughs> Dexter, I want you to understand that I love Mrs. Archer very deeply. I respect her ability. She's a magnificent woman. There's just one thing she's got to understand, and that is I can fix this toaster just as well as she can any day in the week. Here, Dexter, plug it in. No, sure, Mr. Archer. There. There. Now. There. You, you know, that little wire you were fooling with, maybe if you connected it with the... <laughs> maybe you forgot to put this in, too. Thank you, Dexter. <laughs> Going someplace, Dan? Uh, no. Dexter, these packages are so heavy and you're so strong. Oh, it's your cross. I'll take them. I wouldn't want you to strain yourself. <laughs> We bought material for the cutest mother and daughter dresses. We're going to make them ourselves. You're strong, too. And I can use a little help. <laughs> My dear Janet, your little ruse might have been good enough to placate Dexter's adolescent feelings, but not me. I'm a big boy now. Well, I don't know what you mean. For 15 years, you've been driving up to the kitchen entrance, carrying your bundles approximately four steps to the kitchen door. But today, after an interestingly revealing game of gin, you decide to smooth my ruffled male ego. And how are you to accomplish this miracle of healing? By appealing to the brute strength of your male protector. <laughs> well, I tried. Dexter, hmm? don't fall for that helpless female act. Really, dear, there's no reason to be angry. Who's angry? I freely admit that you're an outstanding gin player, a fabulous fixer of non-toasting toasters. But I can't admit that's sufficient reason for you to feel superior. I feel superior. For your edification, let me review some of the outstanding achievements of men. Who are the world's greatest scientists? Who are the presidents of almost all our universities? Who are the great astronomers? Professional football players. They can laugh, but that isn't funny. Now take the woman's world. Who are the best cooks? Men. Who are the best designers of dresses? Men. I can just picture you and Dexter sitting at a sewing machine making us dresses. I couldn't. I suppose you think that we couldn't make you dresses. Oh, Daddy, that's silly. I'll bet if I put my mind to it, I could make a dress just as well as you could. Yes, dear, I'm sure you could. Could what? Make a dress just as good as I could. Well, I'm glad we could as long as we don't. Come on, Corliss, let's get on to Schroeder's. <laughs> All right. But I still think it's silly, you sewing up a hem. Wait a minute, Corliss. You have no respect for men's ability, have you? Well, of course. Only there are certain things men can't do. Can't? Yeah, yeah think, think twice, Mr. Archer. Corliss, <laughs> get me that material. What are you going to do? Dexter and I are going to make those dresses. <laughs> Serious, Harry. Absolutely. If you can fix a toaster, Dexter and I can make these dresses. <laughs> Come, Dexter. <laughs> Back to meet Corliss Archer. Mr. Archer, I don't think you should have said we could do it. The gauntlet was thrown, I picked it up. Looked like to me that you were doing all the throwing. <laughs> don't you have to know something about sewing? Well, here's the material, here are the patterns, and here are the instructions. Yeah, but don't you have to know something about it? Well, what is there to know? Well, it's easier to, than preparing a legal brief, believe me. Uh, now, listen to this. Number one. Read instructions printed on each pattern piece while working with it. Number two, work in units such as bodice, sleeve, and skirt. Mr. Archer, mm -hmm. what's a bodice? <laughs> oh, something around here. Number three, stay, stay stitch, stitch cross, cross grain, grain, curve, curve and bias <laughs> edges. Stay, stitch, cross grain, Curved or biased edges. Well, number one and two. Here, now, let's, uh, get to work. You, uh, take the material and stretch it out. Yeah, okay. Go ahead. No, no further. Go ahead, keep going. More. Uh, that, uh, that, uh, that. No, that's enough, Dexter. That's enough, Dexter. That's enough. Dexter. 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 
seems to be stuck. Dexter! Dexter! <laughs> Mr. Archer, I got the... Mr. Archer? Mr. Archer? Mr. Archer? Mr. Archer! Here I am, Dexter. Where were you? Never mind. Close the door. Now, how can anybody work for this when it's this long? Uh, Dexter, get the scissors there in the desk drawer. Oh. All we have to do is cut around these and then uh, sew them together. Now, uh, here, uh, you, you, you cut around that, and uh, here, I'll get the sewing machine out. Come here. How do you thread this thing? Oh, I know. How? This is Archer. Oh. Dexter. Dexter. Well, there's no use our both doing nothing. You make me nervous. Go on back. <laughs> Whenever you are. <laughs> uh, you almost ready? Yeah, yeah, almost, Mr. Archer. Good. There. All well done. Oh, well, fine. Bring it over here. Pretty good, huh? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Hey, do you want to sew a hem? Yeah. Boy, <laughs> when we started this thing, I thought we'd never get it finished. <laughs> yeah, just wait until Corliss tells me how complicated sewing a dress is, boy. <laughs> I'll laugh at her. Well, I told you it was simple. All you have to do is read the directions. <laughs> oh, pretty nifty. Yeah, that's got it. Stitch in time saves nine. By the time those two males get through stitching, they'll be lucky to save their own skin. I knew I'd have to do this myself. Now try to understand, Dexter. We're trying to prove a point. It's a, it's a burning question. It sure is. Now, we're trying to prove that a woman's job can be done equally well by a man. We're, we're fighting fire with fire. Yeah. It's an effort not to be laughed at. We're carrying the torch for the honor of all men. Now, huh? We are. All we have to do is sew these together, and we're in business. Right. Uh, uh, where are the directions? I smell smoke. Yeah, me too. You know, they say where they smoke is. <laughs> there they are. The instructions. Ninety-eight. Fine. We're up to 26. <laughs> we'll never get it done now. Now, we're not defeated yet, Dexter. Now, here are pictures of the way the dresses should look. All we have to do is put these to together to look like the dresses. That's all, huh? <laughs> well, where's your fighting spirit, Dexter? Where's your gumption? Now, look, we're no longer fighting for, for masculine supremacy. We're fighting for equality. We may be down, but we're not out. We're... <laughs> we're out, all right. I feel unconscious. Dexter? I've got it. They're going to get those dresses, and they're going to be beautiful. If we make them, it's impossible. No. You know Mrs. Gale, the dressmaker? Well, now, Locus? Mm-hmm. 
That's the one. Now, you go down to the store, get 20 more yards of the same material, a couple of patterns. Take them to Mrs. Gale. Ask her to make them up in a hurry. Tell her I'll pay her double. Tell her I'll pay her triple. Get going. Yeah, okay. No, 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 not that way. Uh, no? No, you'll be seen out the window. <laughs> you know, Mr. Archer, for a man, you're pretty smart. Mr. Archer is a brilliant man in many respects, but as a dressmaker, well, he's only so-so. Oh, hello, Dexter. Hiya, Mrs. Gale. And Mrs. Gale, you gotta make these dresses in a hurry. I, I bought 40 yards of material. I hope it's enough. 40 yards? Well, what are they for, dresses or a tent? <laughs> well, it's because Carlos beat me at ping pong. I don't understand. Well, you see, if Mr. Archer could have fixed the toaster, we never would have started the dresses in the first place. Who started what dresses? Me and Mr. Archer. It's a question of superiority. Who's superiority? I hope you don't feel that way about men over women. Oh, Dexter, please. Let's start all over again now at the beginning. Yeah, okay. Mr. Archer says you can have double or triple. Double or triple what? Oh, double or triple anything you make, as long as you make it in a hurry. In other words, it's a question of superiority. Oh, Dexter, I'm not going to ask you any more questions. Well, I hope I made myself clear. Now, look, Dexter, there are two patterns. Here is the material, and I'm to make two dresses. Now, Mr. Superior, I mean, uh, Mr. Archer, wants them rushed. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. Now, are there any other instructions? Think carefully, Dexter. Well, just fix the dresses as good as Mrs. Archer fixes the toaster. <laughs> Here. <laughs> oh, if you need any more material, we'll get it for you. You can't blame that poor dressmaker if she's a little confused. Dexter's explanations are so profuse, they confuse anyone who wouldn't refuse to blow a fuse by listening. Corliss, you better go and see what they're doing. They've been in there for hours. Okay. Oh, look! Harry! You finished! <laughs> Actually finished! It's lovely! Oh, beautiful! <laughs> And the seams. Why, they're so professional. Oh, Mom, I'm dying to see how they look. Let's try them on. Yes, so am I. Oh, I well, you are so beautiful. Well, there you are, Dexter. Little masculine ingenuity, and everything turns out fine. Yeah, we sure are smart, but, but we didn't make those dresses, did we, Mr. Archer? No, I admit that, but we could have. Yeah, we could have, but we didn't. I think that proves one point. What's that? We are inferior. Oh, don't say that, Dexter. We could have made those things. We just had a few unfortunate experiences. Things could have happened to anyone. Yeah, anyone but a woman. My mother doesn't usually smoke cigars while she's sewing. Hold on, Dexter. Wasn't all my fault you cut up the drapes. I know, that's because I'm a man. Let's face it, neither one of us would make much of a living as a dressmaker. No, if you put it that way, I guess we wouldn't. Well, while I'm putting it that way, you know what I think? I, I think Corliss is a better ping-pong player than I am, and I think Mrs. Archer is a better electrician than you are. I'd never admit it outside this room, but it's the cold, horrible, devastating truth. Sure. So, why don't we just tell them we didn't make the dresses? Oh, Dexter, we can't do that. That would upset the equilibrium of the sexes. Huh? Dexter, you know they're superior, I know they're superior, but if you tell them they're superior, we'd never walk straight again. Yeah, but my scoutmaster said truth Your scoutmaster was never married. <laughs> no, Dexter, you're a little too young to understand, but please take my word for it. A man has got to be superior, regardless of the fact that he's inferior. Oh, it's just the way I wanted it to look. Oh, it's the prettiest dress I've ever seen, Dexter. Well, I can hardly believe it. Coming. <laughs> well, we knew we could do it. Oh, by the way, while I was working, the sewing machine went on the blink and I fixed it. Oh, not my lovely sewing machine. It works a thousand percent better. Come on, I'll show you. Oh. There you are. Plug it in. Oh, I'd rather not. Oh, stop being silly. I'll show you. I have to be in court early. Well, if you are half as successful with a case as you were with those dresses, you'll win easily. You know, you are a very accomplished fellow. Well, we were pretty lucky they turned out the way they did. Oh, don't be modest. You did a wonderful job and you know it. Well, just goes to show you what a man can do when he puts his mind to it. Goodbye, dear. 
Goodbye. Hello, Mrs. Gale. This is Mrs. Archer. I just want to thank you for the beautiful job you did on those dresses. <laughs> they look lovely. 